Did you start the video? It don't have no sound. I'm self-critical about how this meeting started and, and also about, you know, the video being um, a little choppy right there. Uh, we'll make sure we clear, clear up the, the uh, Uru Indigo. <laughs> yeah, Indigo is the corporate behind that video right there, the intro. But we'll make sure we, Uru come right how you be. Uru. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. That what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to get this party started. But uh, like I said, I want to give a several criticism about how we started and we a little bit started out a little bit behind. Uh, but we're going to get back on course. Uh, and if everybody can, you know, if you can be on camera, you know, turn your camera on so we can, you know, it'll be just, just as, it's just like being in person as possible. You know what I'm saying? We need that. That camaraderie and that, um, you know, uh, just that, just that building type of thing. You know what I mean? So today we're gonna be on um, point number thirteen of the fourteen point platform. Uh, like if you, you know, in the clip that that intro of the video was talking about, like uh, how, you know, you can look at the fourteen point platform and and get something from it every day because it's a part of everyday life. It also shows intent of what we're trying to do, where we're trying to go. You know, it's not a not a spontaneity. We're not a party of spontaneity, but real intent. And our intent is to govern. Our intent is to have black power. Our intent is to be able to uh, have control of our own lives. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and in a real sense in our lifetime, not just talking about it, but being about it. So just real quick, um, Let's do a, a brief intro to everybody. You know, say your name and where you from. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, your name and where you from. Um, quick, quick. And uh, my name is Kobina Bantushango and I am uh, in Huntsville, Alabama. And I'm with the African People's Social Party. So just go around and give a, a brief introduction of who you are, where you from. My name is Sayero, Battle Creek, Michigan with the African People's Socialist Party and LUI. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My name is Queen Mother Kashiba, Mayat Gaylord. I'm with the New Black Panther Party over 20 some years, and I am in Norfolk, Virginia. VA. Oh, okay. okay. um, I'm, I'm Pharaoh Kamosi. And um, I'm up here in um, Greenville, South Carolina, and I'm a member of the African People's Socialist Party. Oh, comrade. Uhuru, Uhuru. All power to the people. No doubt. 
Yeah, for sure. Power to the people. I am oh. Indigo. I reside in Florida, and I am a, a member of Pedum. Uhuru. Uhuru, Indigo. <laughs> Uhuru. Don't be shy. I mean, all y'all ain't got to jump on at the same time. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't want to have to call nobody out now. Uhuru. 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 And I'm uh, affiliated with AppDev. All right. All right. Uhuru. 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 Um. My name is Riverside. I'm in Houston, Texas. And no, your name is Ma. Hey. <laughs> That's my man right there, boy. Bust me out. Bust me out. Bust me. Right. And I unite with the Hura movement and the political platform of the 14 points and like all of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> quee, quee. My name is Jaquita, and I am from Huntsville, Alabama. Oh. Okay. J. Joe. Oh. <laughs> you on mute, man. Yo, you on mute, Joe. <laughs> you got to get off mute, man. <laughs> mute. Uh, you right, got me now. Y'all can't. Because I can't. Oh man, Tom, I don't even know if I should be on here, brother. <laughs> I, I, everybody, I don't want them to think I'm the asshole at the group. You know, <laughs> hey, I'm in, I'm in Indiana, fellas. Hey, hey, y'all. Um, I ain't. A, I'm a part, man. I love my dude. I grew up with him. Hey, I ain't a part of nothing. I ride with him. You feel me? I'm a rider. That's that. that was up. I, don't, I don't know what else to say, man. I get. Yeah, well, you I good, mean, man. Hey, man, this, I don't know, this... man. Everybody, I'm you. Who, who, I'm Black Panther, man. Boy, what you? I, 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 and you know, I didn't know what the hell to do when I was coming home, man. You know, I ain't know what to do. So we, we got, we got wife in the house and stuff. Hey, and like, 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 Queen, nah, Queen say, we, 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 we got you covered, man. We got you covered. Ah, man, that way I don't feel hey, crazy, man. But that, that, this, 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 my dude, man. We grew up. We've been. Been best friends since kids, man. Yeah, we, been through a lot. we grew up in the projects in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So we got we got history, history, you know. So I'm glad that I'm glad that you own and, and able to participate, you know, in, in, in this way, man. So that that's 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 good. I've been trying to get him on for a minute, you know what I'm saying? This, this yeah. 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 And see, I'm off work tonight for one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right on, right on. And two, gonna, you know, get... all, hey. You know, don't do this internet stuff too either, man. You know, <laughs> hey, I ain't into this. We we got Boy, you, though. we got you, we got you. Yeah. Yo, hey, we gonna get we gonna get this thing started, man. And uh, All right. you know what I mean. Um, so we gonna like I said, we are gonna get into point number thirteen, and then uh, we gonna we gonna read it and then get uh, get into some discussion. You know what I'm saying? So uh, can you can you share the screen? Any any volunteers to read this? We believe. Oh we shit, go. he beat me to it. <laughs> well, go ahead, no, go ahead, Joe. Go, go, go. Uh, oh shit, he remember my name. We go believe ahead, that the primary struggle of Af African people within the U.S. during this period is to throw off the alien. Did I say that right, or is another way y'all say it? Alien uh -huh. U.S. C colonial domination, which is responsible for virtual, virtually every hardship imposed on black people by this government that, hold on, I gotta scroll back over, is identifiable as a black problem. Should I keep going or somebody else? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, we believe that our problems with education from our inability to control our own schools and determine the education of our <laughs> own children to the inferior and racist quality of the education we do receive a cause by the color co co colonialism 
Y'all got to speak the goddamn language. It's you know, okay. man, you know, it must be. We believe that our problems with health care from the absence of black controlled and operated health clinics and institutions throughout our communities to the hazardous health conditions imposed on us by poverty and callous government decisions are caused by colonialism. We believe that our problems with housing from the unavailability of decent and adequate housing for the majority of our people to the, uh, the, the somebody help me with that word. Dilapidated, dilapidated, go ahead brother. That right there, dilapidated, I won't never forget it. I bet you I can spell it. And, and vermin, vermin infested housing we are forced to live in are caused by colorism. We believe that our problems with food and clothing from the terrible quality and quantity which are imposed on us by blood sucking merchants to our inability to produce and distribute them for and among ourselves are caused by colorism where our whole people is dominated and oppressed by a foreign and alien state power for the purpose of the economic exploitation and political advantage. Uru. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uru. Appreciate that. Now, I, I wanted to, I wanted to, um, you know, touch on a couple of things. I know, I know that was a lot um, to dissect, and we're gonna get to the main, really, the main points of this, of this, uh, of this session. But uh, I wanted to see if anybody had any questions or comments about this before we, before we pull a couple of things out. I don't have a question. Um, I have a comment. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do Do we believe that um, it's it's just their doing that's keeping us down, or can we do more, or can we be more involved? Like, I mean, I don't know if it's everyday people or the common people. Like my neighbor, I I hear him. He know he was there when you invited me to come but I can hear him right next door. He had no interest in coming over here and being a part. That's why I wanted to read and read loud so this nigga can hear me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I hear him over there talking about this and that. That's what I'm saying. Like, who are we going? And I, and I can kind of see like how, how it goes that we get so used to a program or a system that this does happen where somebody don't want change. They cool, they content. They cool with it, they straight. So I don't know if I'm really saying like, mm -hmm. do we go after our own too? Because some of them is ignorant as hell, bro. And don't want, they know better, but they don't want to do better. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with them too? While we dealing with the colonism stuff? Yeah, I mean, what, what we understand, how we understand it is that, uh, that you have like some primary stuff and then you have secondary stuff, you know, like everything is primary is, is, is everything else is a side effect of that. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you didn't have, you didn't have, you wouldn't have an issue. We wouldn't have an issue with each other, you know, before slavery, you know what I'm saying? Slavery introduced a, a contradiction that we didn't have before. So if we can't overturn that, you know what I'm saying? Then we'll be beefing with each other around some stuff that we ain't got nothing to do with, or you know, but, we may not want to do something based on based on uh, the fact that uh, you know that this thing exists. Yeah. But once you overturn that, then we can we can get to the other stuff. So that's the primary thing. Even though we got to simultaneously, we got to at the same time deal with each other, you know, and do what we do what is necessary for us to deal with each other. But we have to, but we have to know that the real issue is colonialism itself. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But I, the way and, I feel, and, and, and though, if, I, I feel well, that colonialism didn't can you, can you start start. sharing the screen for a minute so we can see? Oh, my fault, my fault, no, my, not my you, fault. Not you, no, I, no. I was just, I, I, my fault, because I, I, you know, um, I just feel like they didn't start like um, the, 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 the. The slave report or whatever, they didn't invent that. We was already doing that, but it was for different reasons. I feel like they started the racism part of it 
I feel like, yeah, they did that where they made it all about color. Well, you know, our own people back in the day, it wasn't about the color of what's called. It was, you know, them kingdoms, they was, it was something else. If yo, yo, yo click ain't better than my click. Joe, you, you went yeah. down. Yeah, okay, let's, 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 right, open Joe. Up. let's open it up and see what other people think. And we'll, we'll, all right, yeah. all right. Joe, this didn't, this, this didn't, this happened to every one of us. Colonialism and the oppression happen to everyone that's on screen now. The choice to unlearn, to relearn is individual. Some things ain't overnight. Some people won't get this. We can't count on that. We can count on what we do. The fact of the matter is this thing is so dominant and so maniacal or dangerous and, 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 and murderous uh, in its inception because of the greed behind colonialism, the structured uh, theft of resources, theft of labor, theft of people, the murder of people, not by your hand or my hand. So we're so, we are, we have what is called structural colonial PTSDs. We have all these things. We all go through frustrations. We, like you said, we all go through our own depressions. We all go through everything that anyone that is a slave or a former slave or a revolutionary has gone through. That means even to the point of penitentiary, to the point of going and becoming political prisoners. We go through these things and we will continue to go through these things. It is what we do in our walk and in our talk that derives or pulls others into what we do. This is a fight, but we can win. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Hey man, he just yeah, answered wanna... my question. <laughs> yeah. I... Anybody else? Go ahead. Uhuru. Uhuru Queen Mother. Uhuru. I want to answer about that. Um, yeah, we all go through that, but we are the first teacher of our children. We are the first teacher of our youth and the ones who woke up to the colonized, know what he's doing. You know, we got to teach our <laughs> up in the community that it's time for them to wake up. But if they don't wake up, you know, we got to walk by We can't go by ourselves with it, but the ones who don't go to the wall with, we got to leave them behind. We need to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in some instances, and I think. By any yeah. means, that's, that's the only way that, <laughs> that we can the wall. But we don't need nothing walking with us and not gonna, gonna be going with us, but not yeah. gonna be walking. Yeah. They ain't gonna be with us. So we don't need that. That's why I said by any means necessary. And also, in this day and time, we got to get on before we get home. That's exactly what we got to do. Right on. Anybody else? Yeah, appreciate that, Queen Mother. Anybody else? around this particular section. We rolling and popping tonight, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanna, oh, go ahead, Keith, go ahead. Uh, basically, it's just, just to echo your, what you were saying, so being that uh, colonialism is the root. So anything that stems from that, the issues that we have as people, as African people, it stems from colonialism. That's the basis. I mean, it's like the brother said, his neighbor not wanting to listen and not receptive or even open to even hearing it. I mean, that's what stems from the basis of the fact that we're in this condition and we're in this condition because of colonialism. I mean, point blank period. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right on. And yeah, it's just it like is. just just like you know, you gotta if you got a headache, you know, that headache is a symptom of, of something else, you know what I'm saying? It is letting you know that um that it's a, it's something else that's going on. And sometimes you go to the doctor, they don't treat the cause of the headache, they treat the pain, you know what I'm saying? So they give you a Tylenol to relieve the pain. They don't they don't tell you what the real root cause of the issue. You know what I'm saying, and and 
And so that's the same situation that we're dealing with that uh, colonialism is the cause. So even when you feel that pain or that disagreement, it's because of colonialism. Now, whether we, you know, you take something for that or you uh, uh, try to deal with that specific symptom, you know, it doesn't do anything to, 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 to get rid of the root cause. So you wind up being in similar situations over and over and over again, or you not want to participate in something over and over again because you haven't dealt with what the real contradiction is. You know what I'm saying? And the real contradiction, the real problem is colonialism. And all these other things are just symptoms of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we, that's what is side effects of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're dealing with. So we're gonna, we're gonna move to uh, the, the, look at the main points and we can share that. And I think there was a comment, uh, some comments in that we'll get to them in just a second. Um, yeah, right on. So we're gonna go to the main point. Um, not the, yeah, go, go back, go back one for me. Yeah, the main ideas of point number 13 is the main struggle of African people inside the US is to overturn colonial domination inside the US. Two, colonialism is responsible for all our problems, including with healthcare, housing, food, clothing, and everything known as what they consider a black problem is caused by colonialism and not racism. And okay. I'm gonna say that because I think that's important for us to deal with because really racism is something that's inside of white people's head and trying to get us to convince them to like us as opposed to what the real problem is. You know what I'm saying? The real problem is again, colonialism, the, having the power to execute what's in your head. Just like we know people, everyday people that don't like you, you know what I'm saying? Or don't like me, you know what I'm saying? But it don't matter because they don't have the power to, to, to they don't have the power to, um, to do anything to me or to, to affect my life. But under the system of colonialism, they have the power to execute, you know, what's in their head. So the issue is not, you know, whether they like you or not. The issue is that colonialism is the problem. And that's even the problem that we have with each other. And, and that's what we call the difference between vertical violence and, and, and horizontal violence. Horizontal violence is the issues that we have amongst each other. And vertical violence is that violence that comes from the state, that comes from the police, that comes from you know, the government, that comes from the court system, that comes from these different things. But we have to be able to see and understand that our issue is colonialism. So even you know, when, you, when you're having problems at the crib or you're having problems in, in the hood, you, you beefing with each other, everybody's scrapping over you know, some crumbs and trying to survive and trying to live you know what I'm saying? All this stuff stems from colonialism because it's, there, it's, it's colonialism that actually uh, puts the power and resources into their hands. So these are some of the main points that we wanna, wanna deal with uh, in, in, this, in this particular point. And it's, all, it's showing that getting to the, 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 the core of the problem because they'll have you fighting what's in white people's head as opposed to fighting the system itself. Or they'll even have us thinking that we the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll, they'll, they'll kill us in the street and say that, that we the problem. We see this all the time in, in, in the hood. Like, you know, they'll kill uh, uh, Mike Brown and say he had fault for being killed. You know what I'm saying? They'll kill Trayvon Martin and say he was at fault for being killed. Tamir Rice, a 12 year old on the playground with a toy gun, they kill him and say he had fault for being killed. You know what I'm saying? No, the police was at fault for killing him. And we gotta be able to sum this thing up and say, and redefine, you know, what's happening just because you said, you know, uh, I forgot who said this a while back. They said it, it, if uh, uh, just cause it's legal don't mean that it's right. You know what I'm saying? And we understand that under colonialism, slavery was legal, but was it right? You know what I'm saying? So we have to be able to understand and define these things for ourselves because if not, they'll have us oh. a dog chasing our uh, uh, tail back into the embrace of, of, of colonialism itself. So I want to talk around this around this point. I mean, around the main ideas of, of, of point thirteen, and see if anybody had anything they want to add to it before we get into the questions. I got a, uh, if I may add, uh, lateral violence. I'm look. Uh, it's in the dictionary. Lateral violence is displaced violence directed against one's peers, rather than adversaries, rather than the true oppressor. 
that would be you and I fighting, having a beef that seems like we can never get over. So we do things to one another. And then when we do these things, we wonder why we did these things. It's in the colonial structure. It's in the colonial suck, uh, psychology, psych out. Bottom line is that the construct is one way of explaining minority on minority violence in developed nations. So this, is, this has been organized. Everything that we go through has been put before us to destroy us or have us destroy ourselves on purpose. Colonialism. Uhuru. 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 Anybody else? Yeah, I do, but I'm going to wait for everybody else to go. <laughs> you know me, man. I got, I got personal stuff. I'll be 50 years old this year, so I got some stuff I've been telling you know I've been dealing with, man, and it's just yeah. things that be, I'm glad I got y'all to talk to, and Y'all can straighten me. You know, Tom, I got tough skin. Hell yeah, I need it. It's just yeah. like, I think that, like, us fighting, what y'all was just saying, like, we we fighting the first layer of the onion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it go deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do we fight the ones that's in these secret societies that run a lot of these things? We can't even get to their ass. But, and we can't even get to our youngsters because they'll sell their soul, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard fighting them because I come across a lot of them. And I hate that I do, but that's, and I can't just say, oh, I don't want to deal with it. No, because me, I believe that my purpose is real big, man. You know, it's it's hard. My brother's a minister, my, you know, some of my best friends that we did dirt in the streets with. It's hard for me to believe in what they believe in. I'm like, I can't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm a bad person or what. Like, damn, why I can't believe like they do? Why I don't feel that way? Right? Y'all got Holy Ghost, you jumping around. Why the hell I can't never feel that way? Why is it always like, I got something like, no, nigga, no. We got to go this other way, bro. We get, what is y'all doing? Like, y'all asses or something, but I don't run. I mean, I don't know, man. I, Tom, thank you for inviting me, and I don't want nobody to think that I'm 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 crazy, I'm stupid. I just have stuff in me, man. That's I don't have answers. It's like I got a lot of questions, and I'm getting no answers from nowhere. And well, I get you, you're, 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 you're in the right place now. <laughs> we, we plan to get we plan you got me to get free. You got me, bro. You got me, bro. You got me. We plan we plan to get free. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah, see, you wanted, yeah. you wanted to. The most brilliant people I know, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, this, this, um, yeah, we plan to get free. So we, we don't, we, we not, uh, stopping short nowhere. We want to get to the, okay. the, the core of the problem so we can uproot that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and we not, we don't have any interest in being wrong. You know what I'm saying? So we want to struggle. Yeah. We want to struggle to find the, 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 the solution and, and find what the fundamental pro what the real problem is. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And and what we understand now is colonialism is the problem. You know what I'm saying? It's the system itself. So everything that the system produced, the system is not going to, like, if you got slavery, slavery is not going to produce anything for you to be free. Everything that slavery produces is, 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 is for the fact to reinforce slavery. You know what I'm saying? So even if they tell you that you got you, you to gotta fight to get a pass to go from one plantation to another, and you think that gives you more freedom? That's the that's the only way you gonna uh, be able to go that way is to get a pass. Then they define what your freedom is, and we saying that now you can't define our freedom. It's like somebody breaking your house and and take over your house and say, man, the only thing that you can use is the bathroom and and the hall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now the only only discussion that we can have is for you to get up out my house. Get you know out, what I'm saying? Yeah. You got two choices: either you gonna get up out my house walking, or you gonna get up out my house being carried out of here. Yeah. But, Somehow yeah. you're gonna get out of my house. And that's what we gotta be able to say. And we gotta be able to define these things for ourselves. And that's what this process is about, is, is turning the world right side up. You know what I'm saying? Because they done for so long and uh, turn, you know, uh, uh, educated us in a way where we internalize our own oppression. Like we have fault for being oppressed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, we didn't go to, we didn't go to Europe and kidnap you and bring you here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, not, we are not at fault for our own oppression. We are not at fault for all the stuff. We ain't even put dope in our community. You know what I'm saying? So we are not at fault. They got all these Africans locked up, you know, uh, uh, 
but we didn't we didn't produce no dope. We didn't produce uh, uh, this type of distribution. We didn't do none of that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So we have to be able to turn this work, turn the right side up, and really define it and get to the core problem and say how we are gonna move forward. You know, and yeah. and our biggest issue right now is that we disorganized because even the young cats on the block now is since the Black Power defeat the the defeat of the Black Power Revolution of the '60s, they pushed a lot of people out of political life and they gave everybody these Uncle Toms and these Uncle Toms, these sellouts go into the community and the, the hood as a disconnect because we don't we don't unite with that. You know what I'm saying? But we don't but they didn't we didn't have any other leadership to be able to sum up what was happening yeah. after they defeated the Black Power Revolution in the 60s. And we saying that we have to usher that back in and help sum up what's going on because I guarantee you because I don't been in some of the craziest places but when they when people hear this line say yeah you you damn right to be mad at the police you damn right not to like the police I tell people all the time one of our first lessons growing up was that we that the police was against our community you know what I'm saying <laughs> I might not have understood why but I just yeah. knew that, that shit we just didn't get along with the police you know what I, mean? I knew that you know what I mean that's one of the first things you learn so this is what we we have to help people understand that you got a right to resist you got a right you know uh, not to like uh, not to like the police you got a right you know, to want to be free, you got a right to be in control of your life. And that's, that's what, that's what we're about. And, and I don't give, you know, you can't, you can't be apologetic for that. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't no way that we can forgive you for 500 years uh, 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 of slavery. You know what I'm saying? This is, this yeah. is colonialism. And we have to <clears throat> overturn this contradiction yeah. and, and take our rightful place in order to get free. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going to move to question number one, this is the fun part. You know what I mean? <laughs> question number one, we're gonna go to, um, yeah. And then that was, that was a comment in, a, in next, when we when we come off the screen after, after we start dealing with this question, I'm gonna read one of the comments I thought I, thought I saw that was, that was good. Uh, so, pro, question number one, problems with education faced by the black community are caused by bad teachers, racist lawmakers, underfunding, or colonialism. I'm gonna go to Jaquita for this one. Jaquita, quick, quick, been, she been coming to these sessions and, and, and after the session, she'll tell me, she, she want, she, I, I was gonna say something. So quick, <laughs> I'll let me. I would definitely say it's colonialism. Definitely. Ah. I. <laughs> Personally, I feel like we get some of the worst school systems to teach us, and then they blame us when we're not. We, we can only work low low wage jobs. We don't know as much because they hide stuff from us. Definitely colonialism. Oh, that's what's up. Right on, right on. I appreciate the explanation that you gave as well. Anybody else want to touch on that? Appreciate it. Right on. Ask me. Ask me. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna get somebody, get everybody else another <laughs> chance to talk, and then we're gonna come back to you. Yeah, I love this man. They teaching me, baby. They actually teaching. I needed this. Hey, Joe, Joe, go on mute when you ain't talking. Okay. Oh, how do I do that, baby? <laughs> yeah, can y'all um, can we stop sharing for one second, Dex? There we go. Yeah, anybody else? Want to touch on that question? A who rule? A who rule? Yeah. Who queen uh, mother? I want to touch on that because um, mostly in our neighborhood, it's, it's colonism because it's colonism all over the world. It's in all our neighborhoods, all our Mexicans, uh, Blacks, Jamaicans, everybody. It's, it's all colonism. A who rule? Right on, right on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right on. Pharaoh, uh -huh. did you have anything? I mean, you know, colonialism, I mean, every, everything that was on that all, that list from the bad teachers to the to the, the poor quality in education to the underfunding, the lawmakers and all those things, all, all those, all those factors are components of colonialism and how colonialism manifests and works in our lives, you know? Those systems of, of, of government and, and, and the actors that play a role in it are people that, that, that 
that keep this relationship in place, colonialism. They do it through the, through, through the educational system. They do it through the court system, the so-called justice system that I like to call the injustice system. You know, all these organs of the state, they use as tools of, 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 of power to keep us locked into a system of subjugation and, you know, colonialism, you know, and, and, and school is one of the main factors. School is one of the main factors to control the thinking of the people, to influence ideas, and to and to and to create a a, a worldview that is not a worldview of our own. Our worldview has been tailored by our enemies, you know. And, and, and Malcolm X, Malcolm X said that anyone who allows his children to be educated by his enemy is a fool, you know. Our people don't understand that this is what's being done. But this is what's being done, you know. We are not being we, we are we are not being taught in our own interests. We are being taught, you know, in the interests of our enemies. And it did this thing. Uh, it manifests among our people in, in a thousand different ways, man. Yeah. A thousand different ways. But it all lead back to the to the same to the same uh, fundamental contradiction, which is colonialism, which is the fact that we have been dominated by a foreign people that has been openly hostile to us for over 500 years, you know, and um, the relationship that exists because of it has been for them to benefit at our expense, you know, that's what the whole system from, from slavery to the Jim Crow era to this era, everything, every way that they got society structured is to extract value from our people for the benefit of their people, for the benefit of the colonizer population, you know? So, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty, much, it's pretty much what it is. All of those things that was mentioned was components of colonialism, but colonialism is the fundamental contradiction, which we must overturn. If we want a future for our children, if we want, you know what I mean, a, a, a true quality life on this earth with dignity, respect, and to be able to provide for ourselves and live the quality of lives that we have the God-given right to live, then we got to overturn colonialism because that's what's holding us back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I, I just want to briefly say, I mean, I, I appreciate that coming. That's right on. That, that uh, that's, that's one of the, the, the things, uh, a lot of things that you said, you know, uh, is that, you know, we don't, a lot of times we don't understand social systems, you know what I'm saying? And and right. and so that's in part why we have a going and chasing after every little symptom that that exists, you know what I'm saying? Like uh whether they say horizontal black on black violence, whether they say, you know, uh uh healthcare or how we eat or or you know, just all these different things that are all symptoms of the same contradiction, you know what I mean? And we have to yeah be able to help people to understand, you know, social systems and, and even what colonialism is and, and what does that mean? And, and, and it helps inform us what we got to do to overturn it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're not clear on that, you know, you're not clear on how you, how, what you're supposed to do or how you're supposed to overturn it. So every little thing that you, that you think uh, that they put out there, you wind up, wind up chasing, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I want to read, uh, just these two quotes and then we'll go to point to question number two and ask somebody to read that. I know, uh, hey, can I make might... a statement right quick though? Excuse go me, ahead. I don't mean to just cut in. See, when y'all was just talking, I listened to everybody, man. And me, I was coming from, I guess, a, a, a one-sided type of thing because, you know, Tom, I got thrown into this and I, and I, I done heard the word, but me, I like to look up stuff and I want to, like this, it's a colonialism. I looked up the policy or practice of acquiring full or partial political control over another country, occupying it with settlers and exploiting it economically. And then it goes the state apparatus that was dominant under co colonialism. Co co you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, colonialism. But see, yeah. and then, then the way I was thinking is that everything is separate above that. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the choices y'all gave me, and I'm like, oh yeah, bad teacher this, and I can go into each one of them, 
And I kind of see now when I read the, the definition of the word that everybody's saying that all of that is going to come up under yeah. that last one. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, you know, I mean, I got to go back to this is things where I had a lot of questions, but wasn't getting no answers. Y'all giving them to me, though, you know, and I got to do my own homework, too. So thank you. That's all yeah, I want to say. That's right on. That's right on. That, and that's what we that's what we here for. We have a responsibility as revolutionaries to to educate and win people back to political life. Yeah. But I, I wanna I'm gonna read uh and I appreciate you reading that definition too. I'm gonna I'm gonna read th these two questions that we're gonna go, these two comments, and then we're gonna go to question two. We believe that the primary struggle of African people within the US during this period is to throw off the alien uh, US colonial domination, which is responsible for virtually every hardship imposed on black people in this government that uh, is identifiable as black. Problem that was from Comrade Sayedo. And then Comrade Dexter said, uh, he just united right colonialism is the illness and paraphrasing Kwame uh, uh, Shur Toure, uh, he says, uh, if a white man doesn't like me, that's his problem. If a white man has the power to hurt me, that's my problem. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's that's right on. So um, yeah, let's go to let's go to question number two. Like that. And just yeah, and Kwame Ture was a was an organizer, a hell of an organizer in SNCC, uh the student nonviolent coordinating committee back in, in the 60s and uh and uh, he he popularized the term black power. And Joe, I just found this out a few years ago that the person that actually came up with the term black power was from Chattanooga. <laughs> it was uh, uh, <laughs> Willie Newcastle Ricks, which is which is interesting, but that's a whole different story. Wow. But question number two, <laughs> healthcare disparities faced by African people are caused by, we're gonna throw this at Indigo, Obamacare, medical malpractice, insurance companies, or colonialism. Is Comrade Indigo still here? Uh, yes, oh, it's oh. Uh, decolonialism. The healthcare disparities faced by African people are caused by colonialism, which is the issue to everything. So I want to actually like, I said this like a long time ago, but Director Akile opened my understanding of colonialism when she referenced the octopus. So the head of the octopus is colonialism, and then the legs is racism. The legs is uh, health care, the legs is education and all that stuff. And the only way that we're going to defeat, you know, colonialism is by getting it off with the head. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's the issue with that. We should, health care is, um, first of all, should be, we shouldn't be paying to get ourselves right. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's one thing that uh, really we, um, is an issue with, you know, when it comes to all African people too. So. The answer is D, colonialism. Oh, right on, right <laughs> on, comrade. Right on. Any anybody else want to touch on that real briefly? Be brief, cause we we uh we got a little bit more to cover in a, in a short period of time. All right, so let's 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 go. We're gonna go to uh, question number three. All right, this was up. The unavailability. Uh, of the uh, descent, uh, decent housing, excuse me, the unavailability of decent housing for the majority of African people is caused by A, the high, the high cost of rent, B, subprime mortgage crisis, C, predatory loans, D, <laughs> colonialism. And Yindu, <laughs> I, I see you just came in. Yeah, well, it's, it's D. No. The, the colonial it's kind of like what, what uh, uh, Inigo was talking about the head of the monster you know all your problems stem from colonial you can put that on the head of a uh, what's called an octopus you know all is reaching out all, all is reaching out at everything else but the real problem is colonial that's the head you need to cut off and all everything else will fall into place if you want to put it like that Oh, right on, right on. Anybody else want to touch on that? All right, that's what's up. So let's go, let's go to question four. 
All right, so question four. Is Riverside still on here? I know she went to a basketball game. She coaching and cheering and stuff. All right, what is colonialism? A, a system of domination by a foreign and alien state power for the purpose of economic exploitation. B, another word for racism. C, a system of white male supremacy. D, a problem with, within capitalism that must be reformed uh, through nonviolent. Let's see, let's see. Aisha, the, the newcomer. <laughs> Aisha, can you answer that question? Are you in a place to answer that? Yeah, I can answer it. Uhuru. Okay, so um, question number four, what is colonialism? The answer is A, a system of domination by foreign and alien state power for the purpose of economic exploitation. Uhuru, Uhuru. That's what's up. Can you can you say why it may not be any of the other things? Like well, another go ahead. Yeah. Um it goes back like all these other things like racism, white male supremacy, a problem within capitalism that must be reformed. Like all of those are are explanations that have been given to African people to to blur the lines to obscure the, the reality that the primary issue is that African people don't have control over our lives, that another people dominates every aspect of our lives, you know? And the whole thing about racism keeps things like in your brain, like how you were saying before, how like the, the issue is not whether someone likes you or not, the issue is whether or not they have the power to be able to do something to you, you know, if they like you or not. That's the issue. So racism is not colonialism because colonialism is a is a real tangible, you know, like reality for people that that, you know, that are dominated, like a system of white male supremacy is another kind of like way that. You know, people sum this situation up that that black people are confronted with to kind of confuse the question because number one is not just a white male contradiction i mean white men white women white old people white young people white gay people white straight people you know all of them live at the expense of all african people and the system of colonialism that they created um has given them all the wealth that they've stolen from us and, up, and every other people and has given us all the poverty as a result of that. So it's not a question of white male supremacy. And that question of supremacy is a real tricky kind of word too, because it's one of those words kind of like racism that is kind of blurry. You kind of think, you know what it means? Like they're better than us. It's like a, it's like a subjective thing. It's not like a, or doesn't really speak to like, what's really happening is speaking to how someone sees themselves or how you're supposed to see somebody else as better than you, supreme to you. So that question of white male supremacy is just, is not gonna do it. And then a problem within capitalism that must be reformed through nonviolent means, I mean, I mean, it was colonialism and capitalism go hand in hand. I mean, there would not be capitalism without the colonial domination of black people, the theft of our resources, the theft of the land, they go hand in hand. And to say that it could be reformed through nonviolence is like saying that you, we got into this situation through nonviolence. I mean, if we were nonviolently dominated, then maybe we could be nonviolently not dominated, but that's not the case. So we understand that whatever it took to get us into this situation is probably what it's going to take to get us out of this situation. So that's why I say um, A is the answer and the others just won't cut it for her. Oh, I appreciate, I appreciate the explanation. I think that was, that was very thorough. Uh, can you stop uh, sharing for one second? Yeah, I appreciate that uh, explanations, uh, Comrade Aisha. And um, I know we have, uh, we run, we running close to time and I wanted to, do a call. A we got two calls that we normally do during this session. Uh, one is that if you're not a member of the African People's Social Party, 
we would like for you to join the African People's Social Party or one of our mass organization. And the mass organization is an organization that uh, may specifically fight uh, one of the issues or, or uh, uh, a sector of, of, of what the contradiction is. Like we have the International People Democratic Who Movement that fight for the democratic rights of African people. And why is that important? Because we need the space to be able to wage a revolution. Uh, because if you don't have the space, and what I mean by space, if you um, if you don't have the right to free speech, it makes it almost impossible for you to be fighting. If you don't have the right to assemble, you know, then it makes it impossible for you to gather and organize in order for you to get free. So you want to be able to keep those type of things uh, open that gives you more ability and 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 uh, flexibility to be able to organize, you know, for your liberation. And so we have uh, a mass organization like APDEP, the All African Development and Empowerment Project, which uh, Director uh, Aisha Fields, Dr. Aisha Fields is the director of, uh, that focuses on agriculture, healthcare, and uh, education, you know, uh, uh, and, 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 and bringing that to the community. We have ANWO, the African National Women Organization that deals with the special oppression of African women. And if somebody can put all those uh, links to the website, that would be helpful in the chat. Um, you know, and 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 uh, and we want to say that um, also we um, you know we want you to join the African People's Socialist Party because as we as we sit here discussing, it's not just a matter of discussing; it's a matter of you know what do we what are we going to do? You know, what I'm saying how do we get free? You know, and what is the organization and the vehicle with the theory that's going to be able to guide us to that liberation? Because we can't be disorganized and think we're going to overcome an organized force. We can't think that, you know, we can be part time in, in our liberation struggle and think that somehow, you know, it's just going to happen one day. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't work like that. We're going to have to organize ourselves uh, uh, to change our own condition. We're going to have to guarantee our freedom just like everybody else. And want you to join the African People's Social Party, APSP, Uhu.org. Check it out. Look out, look out for more information. This is actually our 50th anniversary this year. This year is our 50th anniversary. And we're gonna we're gonna uh, give a couple of announcements uh, because our plenary, the third plenary of the seventh Congress is coming up, uh, and that's APSP uh, plenary.org. Uh, we want you to join, come to the plenary to learn more about what's going on with the African People's Social Party. Learn when they talk about we don't, you know, black people don't want to unite. Look at the African People's Social Party and you got 50 years of black people uniting. So do, uh, you know, uh, be a part of the party, learn more about the party and uh, be a part of that process. And then we also have a goal of raising a hundred dollars every session uh, to be able to raise resources uh, to carry out some of this work because, and 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 I, don't, I ain't gonna say this was my favorite, one of my favorite mantras from the from the from the sixties, but I, I remember people saying freedom ain't free, you know what I'm saying? But we we gonna have to organize ourselves by our own liberation because the slave master is not gonna give you the resources necessary for you to get free, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't work in their best interest, you know. They're gonna do everything they can to keep you in a situation where you can't get free. And, and, and we have to be able to um, understand that. And, and, and sometimes, you know, everybody don't have to do the same. Everybody not gonna be on the front line, but everybody can do something. And, and this is one of the things that I always uphold with Garvey because I remember people saying that they gave 10 cents uh, to get a share in the, in, the, in the Black Star Line. That's powerful. That's uniting African people all over the world. And no matter how much you give, you know, this is uh, you giving something towards your liberation. Whether it's ten cent, whether it's a nickel, whether it's a penny, whether it's a thousand dollars, you know, you giving this to uh, the African People's Social Party as a way to to forward your liberation. So we got a goal of raising one hundred. We got a goal of raising a hundred dollars. So uh, Comrade Life, who's not on the call tonight, has already donated a hundred dollars. I mean, no, not a hundred. He donated fifteen dollars. I don't want to put that on Life. The Life donated fifteen dollars. So I appreciate that, Comrade Life, and. Uh, you can donate at uh, dollar sign. It's a cash app, APSP South, uh, dollar sign, APSP South. And, you know, uh, let us know if you if you want to donate. Anybody that want to donate, like I said, ain't no mount that's too small, ain't no mount that's too big. Indigo, how much, how much you, 
How much you bring in to go? I just donated five just now. That's what's up. That's what's up. So we had 20. We had 20. Come right in to go. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I did 15. That's what's up. That's what's up. Quick, quick. <laughs> quick, quick donated uh, 15. That's what I'm talking about. So that put us that put us at 35. That's what's up. Anybody else? Anybody else want to donate? If you're on Facebook, we got some people on Facebook. You know, if y'all want to donate again, y'all can donate at uh, dollar sign APSP South. Uh, I'm going to donate. I'm going to donate 15 myself. You know, um, so that that's going to. I got five. That's what's up. So that Aisha five, that take us to 55. We are almost there, comrades. We only got 45 more to go. 45 more to go. I think we can do it. You know what I'm saying? It's for our liberation. Every dollar count. Keisha, Keisha, you know, you know, you when, when you when you at an auction and people start moving their mouth, <laughs> we say, I know something coming. I got ten. You say you got ten. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. right on, right on. Appreciate that, Keisha. Keisha says she got ten. That take us to sixty-five. You know what I'm saying? So that that means we only got thirty-five more to go. Thirty-five more to go. We had sixty-five dollars. Anybody else that want to contribute uh, in this process? You know, like I said, it ain't no mount that's that's too small, ain't no mount uh that's too big. One five. That was in Yindu. You say how many? One five. That's what's up. In Yindu, in Yindu. I appreciate that. In Yindu, uh got five. So we only got 20 more dollars to go, comrades. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you this, it's 12 people on the call. You know, if uh if everybody, if everybody down, you know, we can do two dollars a piece and add it to whatever you just donated, <laughs> and we got we, we done, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> can we do that? Everybody with that? Yeah, I, I see, I see some hands shaking. I mean, we can do that. All right, so that, that's what's up. Two dollars, two dollars. Put the put, they used to call it two dollar holler. You know what I'm saying? Add the two dollar holler to that, and we got it, y'all. You know what I mean? So we're gonna make that happen. And 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 uh, if you weren't able to contribute, you know, um, you know, we appreciate that. We appreciate you being here, contributing. You know, in your presence. I mean, that's that's necessary. You know, for us to be able to move move this thing forward, we need volunteers, we need people to participate, we need people to really deepen this understanding so Africans, so we can understand, you know, what we up against. Because for too long, they don't control the narrative and, and put us in a place where we are responsible for our own oppression. And as the African People's Social Party and African internationalists, we say, hell no, we are not responsible for our own oppression. The oppressor, the colonizer, you know, is responsible for the condition of African people. Even if I stump my toe and, and, and it hurt, it's because I've been colonized. You know what I'm saying? I blame the colonizer for my toe being hurt. You know what I'm saying? And so we have to be able to understand that we coming for everything that's ours and all of our resources, uh, all in our resources. And we have some some comrades on, on chat, I'm, on Facebook asking me to put it in here so we would do that too. All right, so Dexter, do we have the, uh, before we close out, do we have the the uh, announcements before we close out? But I do wanna, if, if, if they not geared up, I will say I want everybody to check out the plenary, relentless uh, APSP uh, plenary uh, org. You know, uh, check the plenary out, come to the plenary, see all the work, the dynamic work that's happening in the Midwest from the, uh, from the, um, you know, the economic development, the basketball court being put into the, into the hood uh, to be able to, you know, uh, the who houses that's been, that's been developed, uh, economic development from a who pies, you know, just, just dynamic, real African uh, practical uh, organization on the ground from Africa to the Caribbean to the, throughout the US and everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So we wanna be able to uh, get y'all to check it out, check out the movement, check out what's going on. 
and 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 sign up for the plenary. If you can register for the plenary today or next week, you know, let's make that happen. We want you to register for the plenary. And if you got any any questions, you can get in contact with me. Uh, you know, beyond this, uh, if you got any questions about the plenary or anything that we have discussed, you know, let's make that happen. But uh, with that being said, comrades, this is 50 year anniversary, 50 years of relentless struggle. Uh, and I have to salute my, my leadership, Chairman O'Malley Satella, and uh, we're going we gonna to move to close out. Be here next week, comrades. We're dealing with point number 14, but we're going we're gonna to bring the house down. So bring somebody with you. Don't just come by yourself. Bring somebody with you, and uh, let's, let's, let's make this revolution happen. Let's deepen this understanding. And, and I appreciate uh, Joe coming on. This is my longtime comrade. I ain't say nothing, but Joe broke my arm when I was a kid. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm, I got, but that, that's my, that's my dude, man. We, we've been, we've been through a lot, but uh, yeah. So Vanguard up comrades. Vanguard up. Uhuru. Uhuru.